Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about fleeting notes, which is a concept out of the Zettel Carsten system. Uh, if you want to learn more about the Zettel Carsten, I've got a video on that. Uh, so the way that I like to think about fleeting notes are the kind of notes that I'm taking on the go. So if I'm out walking and I'm listening to a podcast and I hear something very interesting or something that I want to keep reference for future, then I'll usually uh, type it into Apple Notes. And uh, if it's something more extensive uh, or if it's triggered more ideas or if I want to make a commentary or if I want to just outline my thoughts generally on it, then I find it to be a little bit too tedious to type it all in while I'm walking. So then I'll load up Otter uh, where I can record it as a voice message and then Otter will transcribe it uh, into text and then I can process that uh, as a text later on. Uh, the other times are also when, for example, I'm watching a video on YouTube or maybe if you're at a lecture uh, and uh, I don't like to break the flow of things. I don't like to keep on pressing play, pause, play, pause. I like to, my personal preference is to, pro is to type everything uh, down all at once and then go back over my notes and then, uh, and then process it. So structure the information. Um, summarize it, um, think about how it relates to my other notes uh, and, uh, you know, and tagging it and all those things. So, um, and then the final one is when I'm, uh, uh, when I'm lying in bed and I'm reading a book or a newsletter or an email or whatever uh, on my iPhone or iPad and, uh, and there's something uh, interesting there that I run into then I don't really feel like typing into Apple Notes. Instead, what I'll do is I'll just take a screenshot of uh, the book uh, or whatever it is that I'm reading and I'll uh, process the screenshot later on. Uh, now, in terms of processing, uh, ideally, um, I'd be doing it daily because uh, over time, you might forget the context. So if I look at just one line from uh, in Apple Notes, you know, six months ago or something, then uh, I will probably forget uh, the reason why I took that note and what I wanted to relate that note to. Um, and then the second reason for uh, like at least regular processing is uh, if you're taking screenshots like I do of uh, books and stuff, then um, it might get lost in you know the old could because on 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 the iPhone um, your screenshots are combine with all of your other photos and you may not and then later on they may start to lose uh, usefulness the screenshots if you even remember to look at it again uh, so so it's it's a good idea to try and process them the, those nodes when you've got the entire context uh, more or less fresh in your mind and so if you can do it within a day or two I think that's the kind of ideal um, ideal uh, scenario. Now, uh, in terms of the way that um, I'm processing, so uh, I'll show you my um, screenshot first. So this is from uh, a book that I was reading the other night uh, called The Star Principle. And uh, sometimes I'll do like an outline on the screenshot so I know which part um, I wanted that I was particularly interested in. But I remember that in this case that um, the thing that interested me are these three conditions which um, the author uh, thinks are the most important or is necessary for what he calls a star venture which is basically a very high growth company uh, and so um, and so this is another reason why you know like regular processing is good because like looking at this I'll uh, remember that now, uh, and the other thing about processing as well is that, so I'll go into, so I've already typed this up, but the other thing about processing is that uh, if you don't have the time to process, then you can just dump the whole thing uh, into Roam. So you can dump it as uh, a whole text or you can just dump the image if it's a screenshot. Um, so in this case here, I uh, did something sort of in between. I didn't think of all the sort of the relevant uh, tags and uh, so I, I so I'd say that this is somewhere in the middle between you know like spending the time to uh, link uh, this note to other notes and also um, and also to summarize uh, the the content and to really consider uh, and to really consider it um, critically. So 
these are the three uh, points which um, the author says are uh, the most important for uh, launching a star uh, venture. And you can see these three here and these three are here as well. Uh, now, I've also got one from Otter. So uh, I had an idea for an article that I wanted to write about the creator economy. And this is the transcription that uh, Otter has made. I can click on any word, and then if there was some part that uh, wasn't clear to me, then I can click on that word and it'll play the uh, audio on that specific section, which is very useful. So uh, if I'm not feeling like processing the note, then uh, what I would do is I would go to uh, Otter and I'll just copy this whole text and then paste it here and then put it as a to-do list so that I remember later on to actually process the note. Um, and I will also copy the URL and put that as the source here so that uh, if there is any audio here, that any text that doesn't make sense to me, then I can refer back to the source and uh, see what it was that uh, I was talking about. Um, if you feel like processing, then you will just look at this and then you would, you know, you would make a point by point summary. So I can write, for example, um, I can write here, uh, the title. So let's say, let's call it, um, creator economy article. And then I can write down the actual points that, uh, I get from here. So current situation and then, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, and then the final thing is uh, Apple Notes. So I had some ideas for uh, what I thought were relevant questions to ask when you're uh, taking notes on YouTube videos. And, uh, and one of the thing is, uh, and this is relevant not only for YouTube videos, but for content generally, and I'll cover this in another video, is, uh, is the main goal of, uh, of whatever it is that, uh, whatever content that you're consuming. So if you, if you, if for example, your, your goal is to understand, okay, how can I uh, improve the SEO on my website? Then uh, I've put here, put it at the top of the page. Uh, so you, that question, um, the, the goal, I mean, is something that if you put at the top, then you'll keep it top of mind so that uh, when you're going through the video, you'll be more alert for that. And then you'll figure out whether or not you've actually answered the question. You'll also figure out whether or not that video is even relevant for the question uh, so that you don't need to waste time on it if it's not something um, that's relevant. And then you can move on to the next video. Um, so I think that's a very useful practice to have. And I put here, uh, so if you imagine that I mean, like this is a book, but this can also be a YouTube video. Uh, and I put here, the goal is to learn how to identify star companies, or I can just write high growth companies. And once I've kept, once I keep this in mind, then when I'm taking my notes, I'll be much more focused about um, the notes that I'm taking. And I'll think critically about, okay, um, how uh, true is it, uh, this statement? So this statement is to launch a star venture successfully, you need these three conditions. One is to target customers that want something different. Is this true? How can I relate this to what I already know about marketing? So one thing I might relate this to is, uh, for example, uh, USP, which is the unique selling proposition. Uh, so yes, so I, th I find that to be a very uh, useful exercise uh, to do uh, when I'm taking uh, taking the notes. So I hope you found this uh, video useful and I will see you on the next video.